place value and value of numbers up to six digit numbers. Hi there, welcome back to my classroom. Today, we will learn how to determine the place value of a digit in a six digit number, the value of a digit, and the digit in a number given its place value. Let's begin. In our previous video, you learned the place value as a system where the position of a digit in a number determines its value. We use a place value chart to help us identify the place of each digit. When writing large numbers, we use period or groups of digits separated by commas. Now, the first period is called the units period. Under this are the ones, tens, and hundreds place value. The next period is the thousand period. Under these are the thousands, ten thousands, and the hundred thousands place value. Then the third period is the millions. Remember, each period must be separated by a comma. Now, let's identify the place value of each underlying digit. First is 5. 5 is in the tens place. How about 2? It is in the thousands place. What place is 3? It is in the ones place. What about 4? It is in the hundreds place. And 6? It is in the ten thousands place. Now, let's find the value of each digit. Did you know that value is what a digit is worth, depending on its place? It is determined by multiplying that digit by its place value. Now, let's try the first one. What do you think is the value of 3? Let's make the other digits 0. And you get 3, which also means 3 times 1, since it is in the ones place. Next, what is the value of 5? It is 50, which means 5 times 10. For digit 4, the value is 400, which also means 4 times 100. For 2, the value is 2,000, which also means 2 times 1,000. The value of 6 is 60,000, which means 6 times 10,000. And lastly, the digit 8 has a value of 800,000, since it's 8 times 100,000, which is 800,000. Wonderful! You're doing great so far. Now, let's practice. Let's look at the number 984,257. Let's label each place value using its abbreviation. Let's write O for ones, T for tens, H for hundreds, TH for thousands, TT for ten thousands, and HT for hundred thousands. Now, let's answer some questions. What is the place value of 4? It is in the thousands place. What about 5? It is in the tens place. What place value is 9? If you answered 100,000, it is correct. What about 7? It is in the ones place. What about 8? It is in the ten thousands place. What is the place value of 2? It is in the hundreds place. Now, what is the value of 2? It is 200, which also means 2 times 100. Next, what do you think is the value of 8? It is 80,000, which means 8 times 10,000. Next, what is the value of 7? It is 7, since 7 times 1 is 7. 
Now, can you tell me what digit is in the hundred thousands place? It is nine. Now, what digit is in the tens place? If you said five, you got it correctly. Now, what digit is in the thousands place? It is four. Great job! Now, let's level up a bit. You may pause this video and answer this activity on a piece of paper. What you need to do here is to find the place value and value of the underlying digit. Now let us check. For the first one, the underlying digit is 5 and it is in the tenth place, which gives us the value 50. Next, the underlying digit is 9, which is in the thousands place, which means the value is 9000. Next, the digit 8 is in the ones place, which the value is 8. Next one, we have 2 in the ten thousands place which means the value is 20,000. And lastly, the digit 5 is in the 100,000's place, which gives us the value 500,000. Great job, student! You made it this far. Now, here are the things that you learned today.